Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We're going to be using the Aprilia RS250 from 2001 and of course as you can see right now and you've read the thumbnail and the title this is going to be Helmet Cam Gameplay. Now here in uh, Tacuba, I do believe we are in, I still don't know how to pronounce that so I went for my pronunciation of the Japanese track. I very much enjoy using this Aprilia and I found a little bit of an objective to do that I had not completed in the Ride 4 career mode, and that was the uh, three events in the 250 two-stroke era in the Asian Starter League, something like that. I don't actually remember now having to start the, <laughs> the voiceover, but honestly, I really had a lot of fun with this. I'm going to just prepare you for the next two races you're about to see in this video. They are three laps only in short variants of circuits, and they are very, very fast and very entertaining, and I cannot wait to get underway because I actually recorded this part after the Grand Prix itself because otherwise the video just wouldn't be long enough. So across the line we're going to go and then we're going to start the absolute chaos and carnage of the next two Grand Prix. So here we go then in Okiyama in for the Piper Circuit. So it's the shorter version, three laps and away we go. This very short track, no electronics have been enabled for this one. I think just engine braking too was applied. So we're going to start from roughly 8th place in the grid and dive up on the inside into the first corner as we now get onto the right hand side. A little bit of a bump from one of the Japanese riders behind us. Didn't quite see who it was but now onto the right hand side once again for the second time already in this race. We're going to go for the left hander in a moment's time. Can we dive on the inside of another Aprilia there? You hear a lot of the two strokes battling it out here in this wonderful circuit as we get a bit of a wheelie going there. Not pushing back on the analog stick uh, any quicker than I need to do as we now go on the left hand side to Redmond for turn three. We'll go for the right hand side now but will we be have a chance to go on the inside maybe get the cut back into Hobbs but not quite good enough. Bring on the acceleration look how much acceleration was being applied there to dive on the inside and not one but two not quite. Comalap Preacher hangs on into fourth place so only one lap has been completed or is about to be completed and we're one and a half seconds away from Sun Kang the leader right now as we try and go around the outside of Comalap Preacher around the outside of another Chinese man as we now have two Chinese riders in the top two Chow Wei and so Kang Wei never mind one of them's gone one of them's just disappeared into the distance into the kitty litter so it's going to be a battle to the death here in uh, Okayama for the Piper Circuits we're now going on the right hand side chuck it into the left hand side and we'll battle it out with Soon Kang Soon Kang and Dot Race this is going to be a battle for the ages on this penultimate lap so here we go into Redmond for the second time of asking nice and wide on the exit there for us and we'll then try and get on the right hand side going into Hobbs nice and tight to the apex if we can not tight as I would have liked but bring on the acceleration we might have a chance going into the right hand at any moment now very difficult corner for the Mike Knight corner very close to the apex there practically running across the rumble strip a little bit too uh, eager on my part there but now into the slipstream of Sung Kang the Chinese man versus the British rider and across the line we will go to start the final lap three of three here in Okayama so now on to the right hand side where is the man on board the Yamaha going to go is he going to defend is he going to stop us from winning this Grand Prix I very much doubt it because our record in ride four is unmatched surely against the AI so on to the left hand side nice flick of the Aprilia there nice change of direction and now bringing on the acceleration a little bit of a wheelie coming out of the corner they're still fighting the Aprilia from stopping it from wheeling as we now go into the left hand of a Redman where are we going to go we are rapidly running out of corners where are we going to make the lunge up against the TZR can we get on the right hand side here possibly going into the Mike Knight corner bringing on the acceleration can we launch it up on the inside it's going to be super close but we do pick him up forcing him wide into the Mike Knight corner and this will be victory to the man in front of your screens right now. Dot Race has done it once again, lunging up on the inside of Sun Kang into the Mike Knight corner. Goes a victory to the way of Dot Race. How about that one to start us off? Nice and exciting to start the racing off. We've well, got one more race left in our belt, and of course, it's going to be another three lap battle, but this time in Suzuka. So we now move across to Japan and now in Suzuka. Let's see what we can do in this fantastic track. Three, two, one, and away we go. Let's see what we can produce here in the east course of Suzuka. Oh, a little bit of a shove there from one of the rides on the left hand side. Can't quite see. It might be Sun Kang, actually. Of course, our rival already brewing up nice after that defeat 
in the previous round, but there's already carnage in the beginning here in Suzuka. It seems to always be carnage into that first corner, and this video does not disappoint. So here we go then. Two more laps remaining, because it is only going to be a three-lap sprint. I guess it's two and a half laps at this point. Zunega on the right-hand side being pushed wide there from Zalim Pandi as we then get the cutback and dive up on the inside into the snake corner for turn five. So now onto the right-hand side for the anti-bank curved for turn six. Where can we go? Coming around the outside of Xu Jiao. Um, that's a good effort on a uh, Asian name for you. So we're now going the right-hand side for the last corner for turn seven, holding it on the right-hand side in fourth position. Two seconds we are adrift from Tagai Sasaki who is leading this Grand Prix as we now have Lai Day and Mariko Awazaro going on for the outside excursion to try and get past some of the riders here and now it's going to be a 1.5 second gap to be bridged in one and a half laps. So what can we do here? Going on to the rumble strip for the first corner and we'll get on the right hand side here. 10 past 4, 26 degrees in the air right now as we try and battle down to Guy Sasaki pushing with all of our might. And now of course now's a great time to use all of your might to hit the like button and subscribe as well if you're enjoying the content so far because we've got one and a half more laps of absolute belting racing for you. As we now go into the right hand side, 1.2 seconds is the gap. How can we chase him down on board this Aprilia RS250? I'm pretty certain we can, but let's see what we can produce on this final lap. Now, it does seem to be that we have the acceleration advantage as we go into the final corner. Getting across the line, the gap will be roughly around a second. I think we're just pulling off time all the time as we bring on the acceleration. So let's see what we can do going into the first corner. We're maxing out roughly 133 miles an hour onto the right hand side. We'll go getting super close to the rear of the Japanese rider. Five tenths of a second are in it. Six tenths of a second. Seven tenths of a second. Is it going to be too late? Are we going to have to go for an absolutely ridiculous lunge? Find out in a moment's time. So on to the right-hand side for Snake. This is where we are super strong. Left-hand side once again for Snake. Can we get him on the right-hand side going into the anti-bank curve? Not yet, but give it time going into the left-hand side. Can we dive on the inside of the Suzuki? We certainly can. Beautiful change of direction. And now can we hold it defensive going into the final corner? You bet you we can. That is is brilliantly done that is how we do things here on this channel so how about that bring on acceleration actually because only two tenths of a second separating the differences but there you go another victory two of two in today's grand prix videos in helmet cam so how about that one guys and gals i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did i tell you what i think i'll be returning back to this aprilia and i think i'll be returning back to helmet cam sooner rather than later but thanks for watching guys it has been an absolute pleasure and i hope you enjoyed the content if you did like comment and subscribe consider hitting the notification bell to be alerted to every single dot race upload thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video ciao for now oh hi didn't quite see you there good to see you're still here if this video didn't quite set your appetite then why not watch some more dot race content by clicking the video shown on screen now furthermore if you would like to follow me on social media you can do so now with the links down in the description Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.